Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today we're going to discuss about different type of roles. This topic is more aligned with the CISSP, CISA and uh, CISM aspirant. And with that aspect, I made this coffee shot. I'm sure you will find this coffee shot useful because in the last section of this video, I'm also covering some snacks. Definitely without snacks, coffee shot is ineffective. And I'm sure after reviewing this video, your 80 to 90% of the concept, which is related to the roles, will get clear. The source of information I used in this coffee shots are CBK, NIST documents, and a fifth edition, which is called as the Information Security Management Guide, which is one of the Bible of information security governance. So whatever the information I'm using in this, in this video, it is coming from a trusted source. Who am I? My name is Prab Nair. For more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile. Along with that, if you're new to my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon and subscribe to my YouTube channel to make sure you should not miss my any new video because in 2022, I'm planning to make more and more videos on the governance side. So let's start with the first coffee shot. Thank you. Okay, so first coffee shot, who is responsible for protecting the information assets daily through attendance to the security policies that have been communicated. It means who is responsible for protecting an assets according to policies in the organization, whatever the management has conveyed and according to that we need to protect. Option A, everyone, definitely everyone is responsible for security, CISO is also responsible for security and accountable for security. Executive management is also accountable for security. Thin line difference between the CISO and executive management is CISO is accountable for implementing information security whereas the executive management is ultimately accountable for security. But the question is not talking about ultimate accountable. They just said who is responsible for protecting the information assets through the otherness to the security policy. It means whatever the in mentioned in the policy, According to that, we need to protect. So information system security professional is also there, but why he will be involved in the daily activities? Same like why the CISO will be involved in the daily activity, why the executive management will be involved in daily activity. But directly and indirectly, they are related to the security parameters. So information system security professional, which is called ISSAP, ISSAP, ISSP, this guy is more from building a security program. So that practitioner will implement but somehow his role is also in the security. So we can say like B, C and D is part of the A because everyone in the organization is responsible for a security of an assets according to the policy. That's what the answer is everyone. But apart from that, if the question option change from everyone to user also, user, still the answer will be user. Example like in my aspirants. So I have a salespeople who feed data and all that and they feed data according to the policy that we have created. So keyword here is security policy and second keyword is called daily. So in daily activity CISO, executive management, information system, security professional will not be involved. In daily activity who will involve everyone which include them and along with that users, practitioners and everything. That is why if the question has a word everyone, oh sorry option has a everyone slash or user Still, we'll go with that option because question talking about daily activity. So let's proceed with the next coffee shot. Okay, it's a very good question and good coffee shot. Who maintain the overall responsibility? Keyword is overall responsibility for protection of the information asset and understanding the nature of risk inherent in the existing operation of information system. So there's a two keywords are there. One is risk inherent inherent because if risk is there someone need to accept and inherent risk is there it's it means it's already have an acceptance stage and second keyword is overall responsibility so option a information security professional see information security professional is responsible for the controls to be implement information security professional is responsible for building a program after identifying risk and all that but he does not have an authority to have acceptance of any kind of a risk. Chief information security officer, he's ultimately accountable for implementing a information security. 
But question is not talking about that. It's a overall responsibility for the protection of information assets and also understand the nature of risk. So chief information security officer, after having a meeting with executive management, according to that, he he's ultimate accountable for security in the organization, but he cannot take any risk under them. And it talking about risk inherent third executive management, which look very close because ultimately accountable for security lies with the executive management only. And last is business owner. Why I'm not going with the business owner because business owner is specific for his own business. But the question is talking about overall responsibility. So that is why I'm going with the answer called C executive management. Yes, if C is not there, then second best option is chief information security officer. So let's start with the next coffee shot. It's a very good coffee shot. Who directs it means who giving a direction? who also coordinate, who plan, who organize. It means it is coming from the top shots. Information security activity. If you go by the governance definition, governance is all about setting a direction. So question talking about direction, question talking about coordination, question talking about plan, question document organize. Information security activity throughout the organization, specific to information security, not overall, and also responsible for design, implement, management and review of organization security policy, standard procedure based and guideline. Very good question. If you see the question num option number one, information security professional, he is more like a create a policy, submit to the CISO, CISO will basically get approval from the management and then with the help of information security professional, we implement because if you go by the every organization has a strategy, then strategy is divided into tactical plan. And then we have a operation plan. So security professional work here who coordinate with the CISO and CISO will basically get an approval from the executive management on the policies. Okay. So see security professional, he receive a instruction and through that he basically implement the policy in the organization. That is true. But the question is talking about direct coordinate. Okay. Who direct and coordinate. So that is a question they're talking about. So option information security professional can be correct from a creating of the policy, directing the policy. But second option is there CISO chief information security officer. Now CISO is basically the one who take the responsibility of information security professional. Okay. The third, it's a executive management. Executive management will not be involved in coordination plan and organize the information security activity. So it is not his subject matter role. So three removed because he's ultimate accountable. He's, he should be accountable for everything. But the question talking about coordinate plan and security activity. So that is removed. Business owner will be responsible for their respective area. So we left with two options: information security professional and chief information security officer. So I'm going with the answer to chief information security officer. The reason why is simple. He is the one who direct after understanding the business requirement, he will coordinate, he will plan, he will organize the information security activity, but how for that he will build the plan. He will take the reporting of information security professional. So, and then based on that, he will get implement all the security activity in the organization. So how it works actually, as I said, every organization start with the vision and mission. So the first thing they create to achieve the vision and mission is a strategy and strategy is further divided into the tactical plan. And then tactical plan is further divided into operational. So security professional work here, he understand the risk. He understand the governance, he understand the regulation, he understand the business requirement. And based on that, he create a security plan. He create a security policy, but that is still as a draft. So he submit the policy and everything to the CISO. CISO is the ultimately accountable for security. He will check whether it as per the business objective and then whatever the necessary approval is required. He is the one who submit to the executive management for approval. That is why i basically went with the two because it's a direct coordinate plan. If the question talking about only coordinate, okay, organize, implement, management, okay, then I will definitely go with the information security professional. But the keyword was there design is involved, even the CISO, even the information security professional design until and a CISO will not approve, it will not get implement. Second is another keyword was review of organization security policy, definitely information security professional create a policy. And CISO will review the policy, which is called 
maker and checker this is a company practice come on information security professional create and review himself cannot be done i'm not talking about review of the executive management approval is a different concept so review of the organization security policy standard baseline so someone need to have authority over information security professional that is why i am going with the answer b for beta 2 so this is what the clarity so let's move to the next coffee shop very good coffee shop who is responsible for interpreting it mean understanding the government regulations second is industry trends also determining the placement of vendor solutions what kind of a vendor solution we need in the security architecture to advance the security of the organizations are performed question talking about responsible not accountable question talking about responsible not accountable we are eliminating directly these two because executive management is ultimately accountable for entire security activity what is happening but they will not be involved in interpreting government regulations and industry trend which is specific to security so this is removed and business owner will be in the position to give the suggestion from their government point of view ha huh, if the question talking about till interpreting government regulation the gov business owner can be the answer but here the interpreting government regulations and industry trend and determine the placement of vendor solution in security architecture that is why i am eliminating business owner directly because he is a subject matter expert for his specific business we are left with a and b information security professional and chief information security officer if the question talking about accountable i will definitely go by b but i am going with the a because if i talking about on a tactical level and this is basically called as a strategic level so security professional work here on the tactical level he understand the risk he understand the assets he understand the regulation he understand the business and based on that he do the risk assessment he come with the action plan and then that action plan is submit to the ciso for all kind of initiatives along with that he also give the recommendation of the vendor solutions and all that because he is a subject matter expert for that then ciso is the one who going to review and validate everything so that is why i am going with the answer a for alpha information security professional let's move to the next coffee shop another good coffee shop who is responsible for understanding the policies and procedure used to appropriately classify the information and ensure that business information to ensure it mean due care business information is protected with the appropriate control keywords are there responsible second keyword is understand the policy third keyword classify and fourth is ensure and fifth is business information protected so executive management i'm directly enumerating because they are the ultimately accountable they are not going to be involved in every classification data so three is removed ciso will be accountable for implementing a security so that is removed we left with one and four see let me explain you the hierarchy when we talking about data owner and business owner in every organization these two entity are same now we have suppose 400 business owner in the organization any example prop suppose my sales team each and every sales person handling the multiple clients so they collecting a client data for the organization it is a data and who is a data owner sales now they know about the nature of business they know from which country they basically collecting a data but it is not possible for me as a security professional go to every data owner and dictate them about your data is kind of this category and you need to organize them into this particular label so what we did we create a policy which talk about the sensitivity level of functions which talk about the data classification types so data owner business owner read the data classification policy or data protection policy and according to that they will classify the data so in this case i don't need to be involved with all the data owner to classify so here the keyword was understanding the policy as a business owner i should know and ultimately he is the one who concern about to have a appropriate level of control so that is why i am going with the answer for business owner business owner because business owner is the one or data owner or business owner is same don't get confused business owner data owner information owner is a same they refer the policy and according to that they will 
classify the data an information security professional and practitioner will review their classification system one more analogy i can give you when you go to airport you carry your luggage so you are the owner of your luggage you contact the airline team and you told them my luggage has a fragile items so please provide me a fragile sticker so he here who taking a decision it is you you refer the you read the airline policy and according to it you have signed so it is not possible for the airline team to dictate everything about the policy so they simply create a policy and told about what is a parameter of the fragile items what kind of a category of a fragile items we have so you read the policy and according to that you have labeled your luggage with the fragile sticker so you are ensuring here that okay my luggage should get a appropriate level of control but airline team will ensure whatever the classification has been given on which we apply the necessary control but the question was talking about more like a business information is protected to the appropriate control so that is why the answer is business owner so let's move to the next coffee shot who is responsible for the overall procurement development integration modification or operation and maintenance of the information system first keyword is information system not data not data so and question in the question we are not talking about anything related to the information security so do not involve every time security security question is not talking about security question just simply said that procurement they are procuring they are developing they are integrating so option a is information security professional automatically eliminate option b data owner the reason why i'm eliminating data owner because question was not specifically talking about a particular data let me explain you the difference between the system owner and data owner we have a dba database administrator or database architect they are called as a system owner because they build the system which is called database management system data owner feed his data in that particular database so here example like in my case we have a training company and consulting company i have a sales team this is the sales team they collect the business data and they feed in the database so they are respective owner for their respective data and according to the necessary control they apply on the data like encryptions and all that but here we have a dba head we have a database architect we called as a data system owner we have that is also called a system owner we have a application architect system owner so they are the one who build the overall system so they are accountable for overall system one more example of the system owner is iam system identity access management system one more example of the system is hrms here the hr head is basically the system owner of hrms in which different type of vendors store their data we have a bcp which is a complete a new system you can create in house or you can develop from outside so this is the difference between the data owner and system owner and in this question we talking about responsible for the overall procurement development if the keyword security also you can add responsible for security still the answer will be system owner not a information security professional business owner why i am eliminating because he is accountable and responsible for his specific business so that is not an answer so information system owner is the agency official responsible for overall procurement development integration modification or operation and maintenance of the information system one more example is suppose uh, uh, i am running a bank and i am starting a new service in europe i'm concerned about the security compliance and everything so i migrate my operation in the cloud so now everything is hosted in the cloud so here in this case aws or azure which i'm taking they are the system owner and me as a bank i am the data owner in that particular system so this is the difference we have so in this case answer is basically called as a system owner now next coffee shot okay who is responsible for specified information this time specified information and responsibility for establishing the controls for its generation of the information collection of information processing dissemination and disposal question specifically talking about information not a information system 
So option A, information security professional. See, he is responsible for the security. If the question document who is responsible for security for information, information in the organization, then answer is A. Information security professional create a strategy by which he will be responsible for protecting the information. But question is not talking about information security. They're just saying who is responsible for specified the information and responsibility for establishing the controls. Second is data custodian. Data custodian will manage the data on behalf of data owner. Okay, data custodian is basically manage the data. But here the question document specifying. Third is called a system owner. Huh, if the question talking are more about from a system management point of view, we can go with the C. The answer is basically D for data information owner because he is the one who specify how to create, how to generate. Another name of the information owner is data owner. So we have enough coffee. Let's go with the some snacks. Okay. So first, when you're talking about executive management, they are the ultimate accountable for security in the organization. Executive appoint, executive management appoint the CIO and he is the one who accountable for the information system, which include your information security, non-information security, IT and everything, not non-IT, but IT information security. He is the one who accountable. Then CISO is there. Now there is a, a concern. Now, when you're talking about executive management, okay, if you go by the traditional, traditional hierarchy, CIO is there and then we have a CISO. So CISO report to CIO, but in that case, CISO will not able to present the independent opinions and all that because he will be under the pressure of CIO because CIO talk about functionality and CISO talk about security and too much security impact the functionality. So modern hierarchy say that CISO should directly report to the executive management. The CISO should report directly to the CEO. CEO is appointed by the executive management. Remember that. Okay, so hierarchy is very simple that we have a board who run the show and then they basically build the executive management team and executive management team decide the CEO and CEO is basically under which we have a CIO or CISO. Okay, so CISO should directly report to CEO or directly report to the executive management or directly report to the board by which it can able to bring the independent opinion. Okay, so if you get a question, who is ultimately account, who is accountable, not ultimately, who is accountable for implementing information security in the organization, implementing, accountable for implementing, then answer is CISO. Because if you can see this diagram, it is clearly mentioned here, accountable for implementing information security in the organization, carrying out the CIO responsibility because CIO has delegated the CISO, uh, some tasks to CISO for system security planning because CISO is responsible for security planning. He also develop, implement, managing the information security program in which is basically his primary responsibility. Huh, he will get it done this task from the information security professional, but he is the one who answerable to CIO for the strategy planning, security planning and security program. Then we have a next is called as a system owner. System owner, application owner. I always receive this feedback, Prab, we never get the understanding of system owner. So you can take system owner is a cloud. We are using cloud as a third party services in which we host our data. So suppose I am a bank, as I said, and as a bank, we have decided to move our operation in the cloud. And what we decided, we are using a sales force as an application. Okay, so we have a data customer, data subject. He came to bank. The bank have employees who feeding this data in a Salesforce application. So Salesforce is my system, which is a cloud based system in which we basically feed our data. So it is a bank who is a data owner. Okay. Who decided which data need to move to the cloud and cloud is my system owner. You're getting a point. So data owner will decide whether we need to move data to the cloud and data owners decide how the level of security he need to inform. So application owner within the organization, which organize the data. Okay. HRMS, SAP system, BCP planner, BCP system. These are the example of the system owner and system owner. They consider three fundamental security area management control, which is the administrative control 
ऑपरेशन कंट्रोल्स एंड टेक्निकल कंट्रोल्स ओके मैनेजमेंट कंट्रोल ऑपरेशन कंट्रोल एंड टेक्निकल कंट्रोल ऑपरेशन कंट्रोल इज सम लाइक अ मैनेजमेंट कंट्रोल्स ओनली एंड दे ऑल्सो रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द प्रक्योरमेंट्स डेवलपमेंट्स इंटीग्रेशन मॉडिफिकेशन ऑपरेशन मेंटेनेंस ऑफ द इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम ओके सो दे आर बेसिकली रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर एंड टू एंड कंट्रोल एग्जाम्पल आई एम टीम दे हैव अ कंट्रोल्स इन प्लेस वी हैव अ डेटा बेस्ड टीम दे वॉन्ट टू इंश्योर द नेसेसरी कंट्रोल इन दियर सिस्टम and in this case also cloud is the one who basically applying the necessary control in the system so that bank can able to store data in a secure manner so bank is a data owner in this case now we have some more coffee snacks information data business owners all three are the same value don't get confused information owner data owner business owner the data which keep in the system as i said bank was a data owner which stored data in the cloud so they are responsible for and establish for controls for information generation collection processing dissemination disposal and they are the one who is ultimately accountable for classification data because they are the subject matter expert so one example is my sales team coordinating with the business and they know in that particular country this kind of a regulations we have and according to that they need to apply the necessary control and they know that what kind of a category of a data should have so data owner is the responsible for classifying the data data owner is ensure the data should receive the appropriate level of security throughout the life cycle so they coordinate with the system security professionals security professional to ensure the necessary control is applied on it but they ensure the appropriate security of the data throughout the life cycle then we have another important data governance so that is the another important role so data governance is deal with the operation of data data governance is related to the operation of the data because once the data created by the data owner and they assign the necessary label to the data necessary classification to data after that two roles come into the picture who manage the data one is called data custodian security administrator okay security administrator is there then i am practitioners are there backup operators are there and second is called as a data steward now let me give an example so we have a one business owner who bring new data to the organization as per the data policy business owner review and he classified this as a top secret now here we have a data steward he will assess the data and check whether it complies with the gdpr because this data is generated and it business is coming from a gdpr so they want to ensure the data should be compliance with the legal regulatory requirement see business owner is a business person he is a subject matter expert for the business so data subject data steward sorry he will assess the data from a legal regulatory point of view he check the context he check the quality aspects and he check the he check the business rules and he check the compliance it is his role so as per the gdpr the data must be anonymized as per the gdpr data must be encrypted then he basically instruct the dba a system owner he will basically instruct the backup operator he will instruct the security administrator he will instruct the help desk to make sure they should protect the data as per this compliance so data steward ensure the effectiveness of the data governance of the data so quality of quality analyst compliance officers these are called as a data steward but when you talking about data custodian data custodian is responsible for maintaining and protecting the data as i said backup administrator backup operator application operator so they are managing a data on behalf of the data owner they ensure the backup and protect data comply with all the requirement which is set by data steward so summary is that data steward define how to protect the data on behalf of data owner and data custodian will manage the security on behalf of the data owner so let's move to the next snacks now when you talking about security professional or officer it's same don't get confused so they are responsible to safeguard the mitigate the risk they do risk assessment they draft policy they evaluate the security posture of an environment 
this role is more a tactical role but this role is more like a operational role example like every so we have a strategic part here we have a ciso here we have a tactical plot here we involve the information security professional or information security officer and then we have a operational part here we involve the security administrator and security practitioner so information security professional understand the legal regulatory and everything on a on a regular basis he do the risk assessment of the business control assessment and all that and create a strategy once he get an approval from the ciso he will get implement that strategy in the operation level with the help of security administrator and security practitioner example placement of the dlp placement of the firewall what kind of a configuration we need in the dlp what kind of a configuration from a business point of view we need in the ids make sure we should not able to intercept the encrypted data everything will be guided by the security officer to the security practitioner and then security practitioner and administrator working on the ground level and implement the necessary security then we have a user here user is the one who basically align with the security policy and access the data so if you ask me the hierarchy if you ask me the overall company structure how it works let me explain you so first important thing is that this is a layer okay this is the layer which is called as a information security management which include the controls practice and procedure which is created by information security professional with the approval of the ciso then on top of it this is backed and support by the executive management remember that okay the second most important thing now the second most important thing okay yeah now we have a system owner this is my system owner which is called dba and all that okay so in this the security activities example protection of the security activity and everything is basically driven by the security administrator and security practitioner then according to that we involve the data owner so yeah let me change the color so now we have a data owner okay data owner business owner information owner they basically bring the business they bring the data and they start feeding the data in this system but here we have a role we have a data custodian and we have a data uh this one data steward so data steward and data custodian will check the data whether it basically meet with the legal regulatory requirement and according to that the data custodian will feed the data in the system so executive management here he is ultimately accountable for this entire operations so this is how it works now if i go by the high level diagram here we have a high level diagram where you can see executive management is the cornerstone it mean he is he has he must have a visibility that's why he appoint the internal audit and uh, they do the audit of first layer or second layer that's why in the central part i kept as a internal audit or executive management which is backed and supported by the information security management which create a process and then and after that process we have a information security professionals we have a data owner we have a process owner we have a is auditor we have a technology provider and we have a custodian and they build the solution and that solution is basically used by the user live example is the tool that i'm using so i am the user okay the tool is basically managed by their the respective company security professionals application architect they have a sales team they collecting my data they are the data owners for my sales informations so here the executive management he has a core part of the function which basically build the security process with the help of ciso and uh, information security professional and then on top of it all these roles come into the picture and then we have a final user who going to use that solution okay so if you find this video useful do share in a network and click on the bell icon and click on the subscribe button and how do you find this video does it solve your doubt 
and uh, if it solve your doubt or if you want to share any kind of feedback do share in the comment box so this is all from my side myself prabnair and for more information you can refer my linkedin profile thank you